Jack Barker trucks. He's been trucking for 40 years. CB radios haven't been part of trucking for that long, but Barker has had one long enough to see the CB evolution. It's the trucker's tradition to use CB radios, which attracts so much attention to Channel 19. The truckers use it, and other CBs listen in on the truckers' chatter, then started using that channel themselves. Now it's so crowded, hardly anyone in populated areas can get a message through on that channel. But on the open road, it's a trucker's territory. My hometowns are coming in sight. If you think I'm happy, you're right. Six days on the road and I'm gonna make it home tonight. Six days on the road and I'm gonna make it home tonight. Six days on the road and I'm gonna make it home tonight. There's another king of the highway, and he uses CB2. Not this fellow, but it was his hat which stuck the name Smokey Bear on state troopers. The range of CBs allows a motorist to know where Smokey is. Yeah, we uh, give Smokey reports, but most of the trucks run pretty legal, so... Uh, and the Smokies are pretty good with us. They give us a little bit of leeway, okay. However, I feel that the uh, more the... Smokey, the reports come in, uh, more of the people are slowing themselves down. Hot then, boy. Yeah, you got to clean and go back the other way. We haven't seen a thing from uh, that salty town, okay? There's one thing about it, we never get lost. Never have to worry about that. But don't forget, bears have ears, too. Okay, you've got two Smokies parked. Anybody give me a smoke report out there today? Yeah, well, uh, you've got two uh, just south of the center street off-ramp headed south. 10-9 uh, Fall Revere, would you give that out again? So the super slab is where CB radios are used most widely. City CBers would find the airwaves more useful if they would use them legally. Tomorrow's report will talk about CBing and the Federal Communications Commission. Randy Ripplinger, Newswatch 2, southbound on I-15.